The snowflake model is a method for distributing leadership. It encourages spreading leadership across a movement so that many people with local knowledge and networks can grow into leadership positions and amplify a movement's power and reach. Movements should, at all stages, try to share power. If the power remains in the hands of a figurehead, it may be out of touch with people on the ground and be at greater risk of failure. If we want our movement to spread, it needs to become localized. Local organizers know their area better and grassroots teams want autonomy. It isn't easy to centrally manage large distributed teams, nor is it effective or empowering. Having smaller dispersed teams is a commitment to develop leadership, but it can also lower the chances of burnout and micromanagement. Together, we all have a shared purpose, but in the Snowflake model, we also have independent, interconnected roles. We should aim to build relationships, trust, and strengthen communication. At the center, you may have some core organizers and leaders, but they do not hold all the power. All members of the Snowflake are equally accountable to each other. While those at the core may delegate tasks outwards, they should also expect to be accountable to those at local leadership levels. A key principle of the Snowflake model is that each person has a sustainable number of relationships. Each individual in a team has a clear role with specific responsibilities. This model allows for exponential growth as each member of the Snowflake can have a handful of relationships and each of their relations can have a handful as well. And on it goes. These relationships are the glue that holds the Snowflake together. In a nutshell, according to Marshall Gantz, the Snowflake model is where leadership develops other leaders, who, in turn, develop other leaders, all the way out.